Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will be discussing one of the most powerful and widely used operating system in the world which is Linux. Whether you are a tech enthusiast, a student or someone who just curious about Linux, you are in the right place. In this video, we will dive deep into what Linux is and its history, features and why it is so popular today. By the end, you will have a solid understanding of this open source operating system and its significance in the world of technology. So let's begin. First thing is, what is Linux? At its core, Linux is an open source, Unix-like operating system that is known for its robustness, security and versatility. Unlike proprietary operating systems like Microsoft Windows or Mac OS, Linux is free and open source software, meaning Anyone can view, modify, and distribute its code. Linux powers everything from smartphones, laptops, servers, and even supercomputers, and is used by millions of people and companies around the world. It's available in many different distributions or distros, which are variations tailored to different needs and use cases. Now let's talk about the history of Linux, which is the second thing. To understand Linux, it's important to look at its history. The story of Linux starts with a Finnish computer science student named Linus Torvalds. In 1991, Linus was frustrated with the limitations of the existing operating systems, especially when it came to flexibility and cost. He decided to create his own operating system kernel, which is the core part of any OS that manages hardware and software interactions. Linus announced his project online and soon enough, a community of developers and enthusiasts from around the world began contributing to its development. The Linux kernel was released under the new General Public Licenses GPL, which meant it was free for anyone to use, modify and redistribute. Linux grew steadily over the years, and with the help of the other key figures like Richard Stallman of the Free Software Foundation, who championed the concept of free software. Linux eventually became the foundation for a wide range of operating systems used across various industries today. Now let's talk about the third thing which is how Linux works. To understand what makes Linux special, let's break down how it works. Like any other operating system, Linux is made up of several key components. First, the kernel. The kernel is the core of Linux and is responsible for managing systems, resources like CPU, memory, and peripherals devices. It communicates directly with hardware and provides services to other parts of the operating system. Now let's talk about the second point which is system libraries. These are set of functions that help software interact with the kernel. They provide a bridge between applications and the operating system, making it easier for software developers to build programs. Now let's talk about the third point which is shell. The shell is the command line interface through which user interact with the operating system. It allows user to type commands to perform tasks like file management, system configuration and software installation. Now let's talk about the fourth point which is the user interface. Most Linux distributions come with a graphical user interface which is GUI like GNOME, KDE or XFCE which makes it easier for users to interact with the system using windows, icons and buttons. So let's talk about the final point which is applications. Linux supports a wide range of applications, from basic utilities like a text editor to more complex tools like web browser, office suites and programming environments. Now why Linux is popular? So why is Linux so popular? Let's explore some of the reasons. The first point will be the open source and free. One of the biggest advantages of Linux is that it's open source, the fact that it's free to use modify and distribute gives it a huge advantage over proprietary systems, organizations, developers and hobbyists can make changes to Linux to suit their needs, making it highly customizable. So the second point which is the security. Linux is known for its security. The way it handles user permissions, file access and system resources makes it less vulnerable to viruses, malwares and other security threats compared to other operating systems. In fact, Linux powers most of the internet servers, making it the go-to choice for web hosting and cloud services. 
Now let's talk about the third point which is stability and reliability. Linux is also well known for its stability. Many large enterprises, governments and institutions use Linux for their servers because it's highly reliable. It's less prone to crashes and many distros run for years without requiring a reboot. Now let's talk about the fourth point which is performance. Linux is efficient and can run on older hardware, making it ideal for reviving outdated computers. It's also the preferred choice for supercomputers due to its optimized performance. Now let's talk about the final point which is community support. Being open source, Linux has a large and vibrant community for developers and users. If you ever run into an issue, you can usually find a solution through forums, documentations or the community driven resources that are readily available online. Now Linux distributions. While the Linux kernel is the same for all distributions, there are many different Linux distributions or distros that can cater to various user needs. The first one will be the Ubuntu, perhaps the most user friendly Linux distribution. Ubuntu is great for beginners and is widely used for personal computers, servers and cloud environments. Now let's talk about the second point which is Debian. Known for its stability, Debian is often used for servers and offers a rich selection of software packages. Now let's talk about the third point which is Fedora. A cutting edge distro that is popular with developers and tech enthusiasts. It includes the latest software and innovations. The fourth distribution, CentOS. Based on Red Hat Enterprises Linux which is RHEL, CentOS is commonly used for enterprise level applications and servers. Now the last and final distribution which is the Arch Linux. Aimed at advanced users, Arch Linux is a lightweight and flexible distro that lets users build their systems from the ground up. Each of these distros has its own philosophy, package management system and set of default applications, giving users a lot of flexibility in choosing what fits their needs. Now Users of Linux Linux is used in a variety of areas, making it one of the most versatile operating systems out there. Number 1. Servers The majority of the world's web servers, cloud servers and supercomputers run Linux due to its stability, performance and scalability. Number 2. Mobile Devices Android The world's most widely used mobile operating system is built on top of the Linux kernel. Number 3. Embedded Systems Linux is commonly used in embedded systems like routers, smart TVs and IoT devices because it can be customized to meet the needs of specialized hardware. Now let's talk about the fourth point which is personal computers. While Linux is less popular than Windows or Mac OS for personal desktop use, it is still widely used by developers, enthusiasts and those seeking a lightweight, secure and customizable operating systems. Now let's talk about the final point which is fifth which is development. Linux is a favorite among software developers because it provides a powerful environment for coding, testing and development. Its extensive programming tools and open source nature make it ideal for software development. Now conclusion. In conclusion, Linux is a powerful, versatile and secure operating system that has shaped the world of computing over the past few decades. Its open source nature, strong community support and flexibility have made it the backbone of modern technology. From personal devices to servers and everything in between. Whether you are considering making the switch to Linux for your personal computer, exploring development or just interested in the technology that powers much of the internet, Linux is an operating system worth exploring. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something valuable about Linux. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with others. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.